guys, it's Janine and welcome to Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. Today is Thursday and I will be your Thursday vlogger. This week we have an interesting topic that affects most of us and I can definitely say that it affected me tremendously. So I kind of can't wait to go over this with you. The question is, how has your weight loss surgery affected your relationship with your spouse, significant other, or friends? Has it strengthened it, harmed it, or made things stronger? Okay. I didn't have a significant other before I went into weight loss surgery. Um, so I really can't answer that section of it, but I'm going to answer the family and friends section of it. My friends, my friends pretty much got flushed out of my life. Like, they went down the toilet. I'm serious. Pretty much every single friend. Yeah, pretty much every single friend I ever had. Uh, with the exception of, like, Teresa, my friend that I went on a cruise with. Um... You know, with the exception of her, every single friend I had left. I flushed them. Or they walked out on me. One of the two. Mostly, it had to do with me. I changed. I grew up so much. The first time I had weight loss surgery, I was 27 years old. And... When I was 27 years old, I was a very jaded person. I was skeptical about everything. I was hurt. I was angry at the world. I was angry at people. Um, you know, people used to think I was the funniest thing in the universe because of my sarcasm. Was, you know, so just jaded and angry. You know, and, and people couldn't believe just how harsh I was capable of being, you know. This this sweet little pudgy girl was capable of being such a bitch. And the majority of my friends kind of used me for that. I was like, <laughs> they'd invite me to things because I was like the life of the party. I was there as entertainment. I was always the clown. I could start up a conversation with anybody. It would be a rude conversation <laughs> most of the time. Um, you know, if somebody threw something at me, I threw it back 20 times harder while everybody was watching and then we laughed about it for 10 minutes. So, that's how my friendships were. That was the basis of them. Losing weight makes you grow up. It makes you grow up very fast. The emotional roller coaster that you go through hormonally, particularly as a woman, forces you to feel things you've never felt before. You start feeling rejection for what it's worth and not what rejection has done to you. Before, rejection used to hurt me, and I felt hurt or pain. After weight loss surgery, I didn't feel hurt or pain. I just felt flat-out rejection. I figured out what rejection was. There was no transition from rejection over to hurt and pain. It was just pure rejection. I had to learn that. And I wanted to be alone throughout a lot of my weight loss periods because I was so uncomfortable with myself, my new feelings that I was feeling, my new emotions. I felt like I was out of control. I went through a depression. Um, I went through a few depressions. Um, I, was a, I was a hot mess. 
and I didn't feel like I was capable of being in social situations and coming out of them alive, you know? So I kind of I kind of pushed away from my friends a little bit. But I want to stress only a little bit. If they needed me, I was the first one to jump and be there. If they called me, I always answered the phone. But if they invited me to some sort of party for the sake of being the life of the party like I always was, no. I gradually started realizing what my friends looked at me as. Uh, like I mentioned before, they used me. They used me for what I could contribute. They used me for someone to pick them up and take them to the airport. They used me for someone who could drop them off at New York City. They used me for someone who would take them out to the outlets way out east on Long Island. Um, they used me to run errands for them. They used me to, you know, uh, just, just stuff. And I'm, I'm using the word used because of this. They were never there for me. I needed things. No, no one was to be found. I had my lap band surgery. The only person that came to the hospital other than my mother and my sister was my friend Teresa. Uh, I had issues at work and needed advice. Nowhere to be found. Can't talk to them. Sorry. Um, I just had to sit and stew. So over time I realized that what I had with them um, was, was literally bullshit. It wasn't a friendship. I was a tool for them. And they used me. But I never realized that I was worth being more than a tool. So I put up with it for a very long time. I want to show you a quote really quick that I found. I'm going to plug it in here. Cutting people out of my life does not mean I hate them. It simply means I respect me. I didn't hate them for what they did to me. I didn't hate them for how they used me. I didn't hate them for not being there for me. Was I bitter? Yes, I was bitter. But I didn't hate them. I learned to respect me and what I deserve as a person. Not as, you know, Janine the High and Mighty. It was, what do I deserve as a person? They were not giving me what I deserved as a person. And therefore, they were not worthy of being my friends. They were not worthy of having me at their parties to be the center of attainment, of entertainment. They weren't worthy of having me pick them up at an airport. They weren't worthy of having me schlep them to Jersey, to Newark Airport, or to Giants games, picking them up at 4 o'clock in the morning when they're too drunk to drive themselves home. No. I figured that one out. I went through a dry spell with my friends, and I mean a true dry spell, where I had, like, no friends. I really didn't. I had my coworkers at work that I could talk to and get along with really, really well. But it started at work and it ended at work. And it was a friendship from 8 in the morning to 5 at night. And that was the end of it. And I started to feel super pathetic about that. Like how, how could I not have friends? Like, who doesn't want to, why, why don't people want to be my friends? I don't get it. You know, I'm losing weight. I'm not, you know, as bitchy or as jaded as I was. I'm, I'm better than I used to be. Or at least in my opinion I was. 
I had grown up. I had learned to be more personable. I didn't get it. Well, the, the fight going on in my brain was between quantity over quality. I had only had a quantity of friends. I had never had quality friends. And I didn't know that I should say fuck you to the quantity and give me the quality. All right? When I figured that one out, I'm going to show you a quote real quick here. As people grow up, they realize it becomes less important to have more friends and more important to have real ones. Okay? That's the quantity quality issue I went through. I have, you know, long story short, I found an amazing community full of, of lively, the most giving, caring, compassionate, empathetic people you would ever meet on the planet in my YouTube community. And then I met another group of people in Pennsylvania where all my duodenal switch friends are. And I get to see those people like usually once a month. I talk to them every single day. I talk to you guys as much as I can, you know. I realize that you have to focus on quality and then build up your quantity. Basically, I just grew up. And I had, I had that fight in my head, and I figured it out. So, I have no friends from back then. But I have a whole new portfolio of friends today. And my friends today, they do nothing but make me smile. They make me happy, they make me better, they give me advice, they give me sound advice, they listen to me. They don't just shrug me off and, oh, that's nice, would you do this for me? No, never, never. You guys are part of my friend portfolio and I figured out quality over quantity as part of growing up and part of losing weight. My relationship with my family has got better and worse. I'm going to make this short. My sister is a jealous bitch and probably wants me dead, but my mother and father are very proud of me. And they realize that I am coming out of my uh, grumpy self and turning into a happy girl. Uh, my sister couldn't care less, liked me better when I was grumpy because she used me and still does try to use me, and she's just jealous. So there you go. That's family and friends for you. Um, weight loss surgery has changed my life drastically in so many ways. It's changed everything from what I eat to when I go to bed to how I poop to who I talk to, what I talk about, what I focus on, who my friends are, where my friends live, I mean everything. What I'm willing to do, what I'm not willing to do, what I'm willing to put up with, and what I am not willing to put up with. I learned self-worth. That is the biggest lesson I've learned so far through weight loss surgery. self -worth worth. I'm not done learning it. It's a long class. It's a long class titled Self-Worth. Self-Worth 101. It's a long class, but I am quite a few weeks through it, and I think I'm doing pretty good so far. 
I think I'm doing pretty good so far. So, you let me know. How has your relationships changed with your friends? What has changed in your family? What about you and your husband? Or you and your wife? What has changed? Share with us. Leave comments below. Make a video response. We'd love to post it. It'd be fantastic. So please feel free to do that. I just want to leave you with one more quote that I actually left on one of my girlfriend's pages on Facebook the other day. And I'll plug it in here. I want you to think about that and particularly the last sentence of that quote that your friends are supposed to make you feel like you're worth something. Worth more than a favor, worth more than a tool, worth more than what you're capable of giving. Okay, and it's a two-way street. It is a two-way street. I love you. Thank you so much for watching Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. I will see you next Thursday. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye.